You are about to see mutilated corpses, burning tank carcasses, and all of mayhem brought to you by Frontline Fatalities. UH fans, so welcome to episode 35 of Frontline Fatalities, brought to you by the Frontline Network, presented by me, Fatal Saint, and Tommy. What's up, Tommy? What's up, Fatal? I'm looking forward to another cast. It feels like we've done so many now. After 35, some of our more uh, some of our more veteran fans might remember the very first episode. It was it was a while ago, back in April, but we're getting there. Yeah, yeah, we're getting there. Very, very. Two thousand subs. Christmas. It... <laughs> that's our, that's yeah. our target. That is the target. So uh, be sure to tell all your friends and family and whatnot that watches and enjoys Company of Heroes to check out our channel, which I uh, just updated with a new fancy background and logos and avatars, and my mind exploded for two days. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's cool. Check it out. And also a reminder: Saturday, the tenth of November, this Saturday coming now, at eight p.m. GMT, Twitch TV. Twitch.tv forward slash the Frontline Network. That's where the Reddit finals are going to be live streamed. Oh, yeah. And with us, actually, right then, uh, we're going to be having some guest casters. Uh, Mystery you guys... co-host. Mystery co-host. Well, one of them we can we can say, because he's definitely coming, is um, is a Mr. Call Me Surge. Oh, yeah. uh, some of you might know him. A uh, long-time COH caster who casted ages ago, and he's going to be joining us that night. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. I, I really enjoy casting together with Call Me Sarge. Uh, he just has great synergy with basically anyone you put him together with. It's just so awesome. He's, he's a great guy. Anyways, oh, yeah. uh, so for this matchup uh, today, we have Magpies versus Symbiosis on Longra. You ready to go, Tommy? I'm ready to rock and roll. Okay, okay. Five second mark and pause in three, two, one, and pause. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So, what are you expecting to see from these two players? I know that. Uh, I know that you know how Magpies plays because you've watched his replay packs, you've studied his techniques and his tactics, and you know we also know how Symbiosis plays as we had him on for Expert Insight. You think he's gonna go for a more conservative, you know, easy, laid-back American style and not be so aggressive? Oh well, I mean, I, I, as you say, I'm, I'm a long-time fan of Mags, and um, with his play, especially on a map like Longra, you can't really afford to. Um, to play too passively, um, because as Symbiosis said when he was on Expert Insight, he said the main weakness is actually the fact that if your opponent does go very aggressive, goes for a very quick pin, then that kind of passive play doesn't really work because you're, I mean, you're, if you're not attacking, he can he's just free to move forward. So it really is about containment. And yeah. that's really tough to do here, especially when Mags, I'm going to guess he's going to be doing a very Volk heavy build, uh, just a very tier one heavy build in general, but lots of Volks and, um, and you know, supported that by MGs and a med bunker. And I would be amazed if he does anything except defensive doctrine with heavy use of for the Fatherland. Yeah, that's what I'm expecting to see from Magpies as well. He's really refined that tactic, uh, you know, that play style, and I bet he's refined all his build orders, etc. But we did see a form of a blunder in the beginning. He actually cancelled his Wehrmacht quarters while he was building it. And had to <laughs> yeah, build it. I was like, that. what just happened? Why did he do that? I was like, is he going to go, go like forward HQ or something? But no, it must have just been a s stressful misclick or something. He, he misclicked. Probably some yeah, keyword that, that, shortcut maybe. Yeah, that was kind maybe. of unfortunate because he was double building and he was almost at the end of building it. Yeah. So, um, it has it has delayed him just a little bit. You know, Symbiosis only went for a two engineer start, but he's going to have two uh, two rifles before Mags gets his two volts. But either way, it shouldn't set him back uh, too far in the great scheme of things. Yeah, first rifleman squad out from Symbiosis and the first walk squad out from Mags as well. They are going to engage. He does finish the cap on the munitions point. But he's trying to stall the rifleman from getting into the green cover and camping his cutoff for too long. But right now, as you say, he's fairly outgunned. Even though the second rifle from Symbiosis is not on the front line yet, he just popped out of the barracks. 
but he's actually opting to go left with them and not fight with them. Second unit out from Magpies is an MG, so that might be followed by more Volks or more MGs or, you know, you never know about Mags. Yep, it's, um, <laughs> that, th these hay bales here can always be a bit tricky. I mean, you saw uh, just a couple of those rifle guys actually went out of the green cover. They did get suppressed. But if that doesn't happen, if you get lucky enough to have a rifle squad that would just sit still, then um, then you can really hold that green cover with rifles for quite a long time. And it's actually a cheeky tactic that some US players do, is to rush the first rifle to that green cover there, because you can hold it for such a long time um, before you just get you know massively overwhelmed or until the sniper comes. Yeah, as long as your units don't, the AI takes over and gets HDAD or something, you're just like, oh, throw yourself in front of the green cover because it feels yeah. like a good ID, gets suppressed, and it's like, no, don't do it. And I think somebody also actually commented on that stupid rifles. He said, why yeah. would you jump in front of the green cover and not stay behind where you're actually protected? Why do you want to get shot up by an MG? It's like, it's a pretty <laughs> bad idea generally to get shot up by anything. But uh, you never know about the AI, it does whatever it feels like sometimes. Uh, third Volk squad now queued up, so Volk MG, Volk Volk for Magpies. Whoa, he's going straight, he's, he's just running wow. with his MG straight to the building here. He does uh, not care about the rifles. For some kind of an ultra quick pin. Um, again, the, these rifle squad, yeah, pretty much outgunned there. Symbiosis stays to do a bit of damage, manages to retreat, only taking uh, one loss there. But um, yeah, Mag's going for a super early pin. Really heavy on the right side. Symbiosis did manage to get down one mine um, near his cutoff, which might delay things a few seconds, but not much more than that. Yeah, it all depends on how Mags decides to play this. If he wants to go for the cutoff, or he just wants to go for some form of base pin with his MG in the forward building there. But at the same time, Symbiosis is stretching out on the left-hand side, and he has decapped the 60 munitions from Magpies, which is always a blow to lose that uh, munitions point so close to your base. The 16 income is really good. Yeah, or oh, that that's true. Although the, the the thing for Mags is that he's he's about to get himself a plus twenty income from these two uh, munitions point out in the middle of the field. Yeah, uh, he, he is protecting his cutoff as well. Plus ten, uh, two plus ten, in fact, right next to his base. I mean, longer. You're, you're just you're just full of munitions. You can choose to camp wherever you like. You're never going to be at a shortage of munitions anyway. But he is losing VPs very slowly, 2 to 1 VPs at the moment, and Magpies are already down to 450, 449 right now. But, you know, Symbiosis is stretching out all over the place on the left-hand side, he's losing basically everything. The strategic point just got cut off, he's losing the VP outside of his base. Now an MG comes out from the Wehrmacht quarters, gonna try to suppress these rifles capping the strategic point. Symbiosis was on top of his game, he saw the MG before it set up, he ran away and stole the strong house. So he's probably going to deny the 60 munitions and the left-hand side of the map as long as humanly possible for for Magpies, he does, he's not going to allow him to get that back easily. We do have the bar upgrade here from Symbiosis, putting to good use here. Focus firing down a Volk squad, taking a lot of damage. Oh does God. force it to retreat, but he could lose his whole rifle squad here. He did stay for quite a long time in that battle. No! And, oh boy, does actually get taken down. Brings him down to just three rifles and two engineers, which is not really going to be enough to take on this, uh, this big tier one. Plus a flamethrower now added to the mix as well, so... Um, uh, Symbiosis is, is just uh, making things difficult for himself here. Yeah, he is running into some trouble with these massive marauding blob from uh, Mags. Two bolts and a flamer to put in, put in some extra hurt. As well as he's, he's just not leaving that forward building, so he can't go wherever he wants to. He has to stick back there and go for the long flanks, unless he wants to get suppressed by the MG in the house outside of his VP, outside of his base. For the far land, pop in that engagement to tip the tide into Magpie's favor even more than it already was. Easily winning him that battle. Ooh, we have a, we, we've got a triage follow-up to the bars, and now a med station coming out from Symbiosis. So it looks mm. like he's going to try and recoup some losses that he took just there with um, with some with some medic use, which is not something that you see a whole lot in American early uh, tier ones. Although I guess he's he's sort of thinking that the lack of um, a sniper sort of means that the medics will be able to at least get a few casualties without being harassed. Yeah, if he can just get that rifle back that he lost. Uh the medic station has paid for itself already. He, he just needs the one rifle back and it's pretty much golden. It doesn't cost him any munitions or anything, it just costs him manpower to pick up, put, put up the medic station compared to the Wehrmacht medic bunker. Uh, Cancraft center up in Magpie's base. Is this, is this usual for him uh, to 
Uh, the recently, I've first. Been, recently, I've been talking uh, to Mags and against. Oh, he's gonna hit that mine, surely. Ooh. But he just for the far save, him, save him. Yeah. yeah. No suppression um, for you. But no, regarding the um, the vet, I know Mags will basically always get a camp drive center for vet if he sees bars. And just generally, in general, if he, if he does do a 2MG build, he'll generally get one striper support vet, which I believe is what we're about to see. Is one striper support vet in a minute. Yep. And there. he might follow that up with vet one infantry as well before before even starting to tech tier two. Yeah, and the medic bunker or uh supposed to be a medic bunker i'm guessing is coming up outside of mag's cutoff so yeah he's gonna just fortify his position in the center uh, with the for, for the farther land you know even good you know t three pronged attack from symbiosis is gonna be just so much harder to pull off he is focus firing down the medics right now so magpies is fully aware that there is a medic station out Vet one for infantry first, ah, chosen okay. actually. Maybe so all of his volts. Maybe for all of his volts, they are you know they've been fairly damaged. They're still at five and four men, but the health uh, is lower than it could be. So maybe he just wants the passive region real quickly. Well, it, support it vet is coming up health, as well, uh, especially when when you're facing bars because low health volts really do die very very quickly to yeah. uh, bars, especially as as you know. Um, Simos is, is going to be running out onto the field with fully health bars as well with his triage uh, trio center. He's tr going for a cutoff move on the left hand side. He took the middle strategic point, so taking the strategic point on the left hand side is going to cut Symbiosis off from the stolen 60 munitions and the plus 10 fuel on the far left hand side. He's doing a flank with his flamer on MG on the right hand side though. Very nicely played. He did suppress the sweepers. They did find the mine place there at the 10 fu uh, fuel, however. So the flamers never hit that mine. But the second MG is very nicely positioned as well. He's really holding on to the center of Longray right now. Oh no, he might actually lose another rifle on the left-hand side. The marauding squad of two Volks and flamers shows up again to polish off a rifleman squad. They do not manage to do it this time, however. I was uh, I was watching that. What happened there was the rifle squad actually got stuck in a bit of fence there. It, there were so many volks surrounding them, they couldn't get through the fence, and they got stuck on retreat. And um, they they lost a lot of men there. They could have lost the whole squad, and that probably would have been game right there, taking uh, taking symbiosis down to just two rifles. That said, even though he's not winning an awful lot of the engagements, he has managed to maintain an awful lot of manpower because he's still he's got 700 manpower right now. Oh wow! Magpie's also floating almost 450, 500 manpowers at times. I'm not sure exactly what he's waiting for, but yeah, you know, it's good to have a stock on manpower. But at the same time, uh, with with the rifleman squad that he actually managed to kill, he is outgunning symbiosis in most engagements, especially with Fort Farland. There's no problem at all for him to outgun symbiosis in basically every engagement. Huge mine on the right hand side. Yeah, that was, that was unlucky, although he does only take one casualty in, actually you can see the medic going out to work right now. The second medic must be out somewhere. Yep, there he is, he's over by the left hand side cutoff. You know, if that starts turning into a grand factory, a proper grand factory, then there's gonna be a real, real problem. I'm not sure Symbiosis is even paying attention to the medics either. He's going for the pioneers, going for the VP on the left hand side, but the medic just walking away with the casualty. So his bars are way too far away from the medic now to chase after him since these bolts are firing at him. So he's yeah, gonna have to stick gonna in the green cover. Two, two pretty quick casualties uh -oh. um, for Mags, which is gonna be very nice. Couple of, another nice mine has gone off here. And actually this Vet 1 really helping Mags out keep his, uh, keep his bolts alive. He's taking a lot of health damage but not much in the way of actual manpower damage, so um, good for him in that regard. Uh, to be honest, you know, knowing Mags, I wouldn't be surprised if he's just doing a straight tech to tier 4 right now. Yeah, it seems like that might be possible, because Mags is now building another Volt Squad out of his Kriegs, uh, Kriegs Barracks. Uh, Vermark Quarter, sorry, not the Kriegs Barracks. So, very, very heavy tier 1 from Mags. I guess... He is fairly safe to do that. He's floating almost 200 munitions. He could Alpha Faust a potential M8. And, you know, with bars on the field, he knows that Symbiosis has spent a lot of fuel already. So, sticking in a heavy tier 1 might be actually beneficial for Magpies right now, though it is a little bit strange. Yeah, I mean, I gotta say, it's a pretty ugly way to play uh, to play uh, the Vare tier 1, um, if I'm honest. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a way that I used to play it myself, and... Um, and since then, um, I've been talking uh, and being being helped out by Aimstrong a lot, who has showed me 
showed me the dark side, you know, the, the, the real way to play fair, but, um, I mean, it's it's incredibly powerful to go for those kind of huge tier 1, especially on a cutoff map like this, where you can deny so much fuel, and you can see, you know, this M8 come out about 12 minute mark, but it's still not really a problem. If you're a defensive fair player with a med bunker, an M8 just doesn't have that kind of shock factor, because you can just camp around your med bunker, and he has no snipers, so you can just sit back until you get a free grand and then pop a Shrek. Yeah, I'm a little bit surprised that Symbios has not built his WSC yet. As we've seen when we had an expert insight, he really do lo does love his WSC units, both the snipers actually, and the mortar. You can see actually right now in his base, he, he is actually... Ah, there uh, it is. He's, he's just about to pop out a sniper, and, ah. uh, and there it is. That's good, that's good. I think that's exactly what Symbiosis needs. He needs to dislodge MGs with the sniper, obviously. A mortar would do the trick as well. And then you fight fight with his bars against the Volks. They're only vet one, so the only thing they get from their veterancy is passive healing, which is not helping Max in a combat situation, really, as it's so slow. However, there's always for the Fatherland to factor into the mess, and you know, <laughs> after a well, while, it gets uh, a, a lot trickier than you can expect. Well, for the Fatherland, I mean, at least when you start, no, not so much with Volks, it is still useful, but especially when you factor in Grens, it really is just like vet two for Grens. Yeah. Um, going defensive heavy for the fatherland use it means you don't have to get vet you can get vet as well but then you're really if you're using for the fatherland and going vet too you're really begging for some, some for some sort of wsc abuse um you know heavy sniper usage sniper spam and stuff like that uh which can be very very difficult to counter as a defensive player so it's um yeah it's what, what is max doing this one bolt guy what the hell he's running into the base <laughs> oh, he's he was cap scouting, <laughs> maybe. That I'm was not sure. Really strange. Was it? Was it? A, um, no, it, it wasn't the capping squad ears. So I have no idea what that ball squad had on his mind. But apparently, he did not feel like living anymore, so he ran into a bunch of bar rifles. Sounded like a good yeah, idea at the time, probably. Uh, uh, didn't turn out that good. This M8 now, is laying down the hurt. Here comes the Alpha Faust. Double Faust. Boom! Goes into the M8 frontal armor. Takes him down to 25% health. But there's nothing to polish him off. There's no sneaky pack anywhere. Um, the Vols are not, just not going to be able to pursue it all you know, straight into Symbiosis' base. It's just way too dangerous. But I'd be willing to wager that it doesn't even matter. I, I'd be willing to wager. I mean, what? The, the, the Max has enough munitions to just do that every time it comes Pretty much. near him. Yeah, 43 um, income, even though he doesn't have the 60 munitions on the left-hand side, he doesn't need these. As you said before, he has 2 plus 10 in the north on the right-hand side. For the Fartland, I think maybe trying to attempt to save his MG, which he actually does. A new recruit wow. to the MG pops Power out just for the Fartland. Uh, <laughs> a one-man point-blank with a bar squad, one-man MG, and it just it wins. Yeah, he didn't insane. die. <laughs> well, he did get the reinforcements for the bunker. Without that, he would have been decrewed. But, uh, you know, fighting uh, next to the medic bunker as a defensive player and just reinforcing and then popping for the Fartland to save the last remaining guy is apparently enough time to get a new recruit to your MG crew. Uh, you know, it's very powerful. Tier 4 is coming up and it's just completed and an Ostwin is instantly queued up to build. So you're correct. Very huge Tier 1 from Mags straight to Tier 4. Yep, and um, well, it does work if you're going heavy Volks, you've got your sort of your auxiliary AT, as long as your opponent isn't crafty enough to pump out a Sherman, then yeah. you're generally okay. Simbo's actually now going for supply art upgrades as well. He's really trying to kill that medic, and he does get it. Oh. I like the fact that he's focusing so much on the medics, not so much on killing the Volks, uh, because really, it doesn't matter if you, if, you, uh, if you lose the engagement at the end of it, but, um, you know, get some kills, but still let the medics live, then, you know, he might get a free Gren, and then suddenly everything you've just worked for, all the manpower you've lost is for nothing. Because yeah. he's got a free Gren with, for the Fatherland, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's just horrible to fight. He gets basically free manpower while you lose a lot of manpower, generally, you know. You kill yeah, a exactly. lot of manpower, but if it's just Volks, they're so cheap to reinforce, and he, get a, he gets a Gren in return, he's actually gone plus in that engagement, even though losing Volks. Because you will be losing rifles in that engagement, you know, unless you're completely overwhelming the opponent. And, you know, in this particular game, I don't think Symbiosis can overwhelm his opponent since he has such a huge tier 1. And here we go, the first Oswin is now out. Spots, actually oh, we have sticky. Stickies. Interesting. Stickies, although he might regret throwing that one if he loses the rifle. Oh, he does lose the rifle. Oh, is he down to oh two dear. rifles now? Down to two rifles, and he's only managed to get one casualty oh, yeah. in his, into his med station so far, so... 
Um, it looks like looks like Max is m winning the medic wars at the moment. Yeah, but Silverius has been doing good. The medics uh, got those two initial uh, uh, corpses back to the medic bunker, but apart from that, he hasn't gotten a single uh, casualty back to the medic bunker. So it's still at 50%. Two casualties collected. Okay. Allied sniper is going to work slowly and steadily on the MGs, but here is a nice sniper Ooh, counter. If you don't KCH. build a sniper, KCH <laughs> instead out of tier 4. So I guess a massive tier 4 is to be expected now or something. Massive tier 1 on, on, onto massive tier 4. Yeah, I mean, you know, with, with, between KCH and, you know, Oswin's Panthers, v 4s and stuff, you, you've really got everything you need to counter. Um, pretty much anything that the US player can put out. Besides, you know, proper uh, sort of oh. you know, tank depot play. Yeah, Volkswagen actually went down, so one unit down, four mags here, and not including uh, a few pyos that died here and there. We actually have armor chosen by Symbiosis, as we know from his expert insight. He does love his armor, and he's oh, been yeah. waiting this whole time. Uh, he's, he's still a few CPs away from it, but he has unlocked Allied War Machine, and he is now waiting for the Kali. Okay, yeah, he's going down the Kali route. He really loves his Kali play, so WSC and Kalis, that's uh, Symbiosis' motto, and then just let the Rifleman vet roll in eventually. Not, eventually. not exactly, We're, yeah. Supply out upgrades often to, to yeah. boost him a bit, because he does have this 11 kill vet one squad. Oh, that's um, good, he's here. gonna hit vet oh two very god. soon. Oh my god, there's so much stuff right so here. So many units from Max. KCH meet the rifles as they exit the door, getting chewed up. Oh wow, he could be in danger of actually losing Oh wow, he's actually gonna lose it, I think. Oh, he does lose it oh, and drops a bar yeah. for the Vox as well. Symbiosis is not happy with that outcome, and now the medics are getting focus fired instantly from Max as well. And he's just basically standing on the threshold of Symbiosis' base and just sitting there, and there's nothing he can do. The M8 is chased off from the left hand side by the Ostwin as well, which is, you know, a decent AT counter when it comes to uh, uh, when it comes to M8s and light vehicles like that. And now he's just going this for the cutoff, uh, even with rifles sh firing at him. He just does not care. Yeah, here he comes the KCH. Yeah, fuck yeah, here comes KCH. Only bet one. They're not going to be able to stand up to those guys, and they're forced to retreat. I mean, pr probably worth just saying, Symbiosis has one rifle. One rifle? Oh yeah, he lost another one rifle. One, two, three lost. Ooh, now Mags is building an 88, and I'm going to guess that's just about in range of the barracks. Probably not quite oh. enough to get all the way into the base, into the triage and the motor pool, but enough to kill the barracks off. Might be in range of the barracks, and it's going to be really good against the AT guns, which is really the only threat. Wow, was that a friendly oh. mine? <laughs> a friendly mine! A oh friendly god. Mine. Oh dear, well, no, Max never lays mines, so... <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> if you see a mine, it, it's Symbiosis. It is in range of the barracks. Wow, was that one hit 50% of the barracks? Um, Very close to 50% at least. Yeah, I think you could be right. Oh my wow. god. Okay. Um, wow, so three it, shots. Do, do more damage than I remember to, to barracks. Actually, we see, this is a nice little move. Um, placing some sandbags right here in front of the 88. Some people, uh, there's kind of myths around surrounding the whole... Um, you know, to to put sandbags and things in front of your 88. Now, where where uh, Mag's actually done it right now, <laughs> funnily enough, isn't actually helping him. But you can give uh, an 88 vehicle cover. Oh, actually, it does have the green symbol for vehicle cover, so maybe it does. But you, um, if you place the the sandbags over the, um, the little leg, the support leg of the of the 88, you can give the 88 green cover, and um, that's a 0.75 received accuracy right there. So it oh, does yeah. kind of help versus. Um, you know, Howies and uh, Bazookas and RRs and things like that. Symbiosis is really fighting an uphill battle ever since he lost that first initial rifle. He, you know, and then he's lost two more after that. So he's down to just <laughs> one rifle and some flamers. He might be able to save his M M8 though. I uh, just won't die, but you know, Magpies can fast all day long. He's floating 200 munitions still with a 59 income now as he has regained the 60 munitions outside of his base on the left-hand side of the map. Uh, he's basically in control of the whole map now. Symbiosis is not having a fun time this day. This day. No, he is not. We have... Uh, I'm not sure what he's doing with Oswin. He's scouting. Yeah, I think he's just, just scouting out. We have a second sniper being built by Symbiosis. I mean, <sighs> in, in a way... It's not quite game over, even though he has no map control, because he does still have his most powerful units. As we know, Symbiosis' rifles are really only there to screen. He has lost three of them, which is obviously a huge loss, but he does he will have two snipers, two ATGs, and this double vet M8 fairly shortly. So it's a reasonable force to tackle 
what is essentially just amounts to, to cheap and tanks. Yeah, basically all the volts. He's only got the one Ostwin out of tier 4 and he, he just keeps producing KCH instead of more vehicles even though he has a healthy fuel income of 32 and a floating 100 right now. But I guess he doesn't really have any use for more vehicles than just that one Ostwin. It's enough to counter light vehicles like M8s or half track. Uh, it's good against all infantry basically. Uh, you know, with the two snipers combined he can easily fight the forces of magpies. But he's just got no map control. He's basically losing out on every single attack he does. It's it's not looking bright for Symbiosis at this time. No, it's not. And I think for for Mags really just to put the put the lid on things right here. All he needs to do is either get a sniper of his own, or if uh, if that's too boring, uh, just just make lots more KCH because he's not facing barred rifles. He's not facing anything that can actually kill them. So um, yeah, and he is going to be facing like you know Vet Three sniper within not too long. But yeah, he does already face a 20 kill, but two sniper, so that is going to be a problem. Yeah, it's going to be an MG and Volt crew, so he needs uh, a fair amount of kills with his sniper to hit Vet 3, but if he starts killing KCH, as he has double snipers now, and you know, as we've talked about in the previous episodes, and uh, tells the sniper to shoot at the same guy, you know, double snipe, you can get one KCH in every barrage with two snipers. Provided so they're speak. not Vet 3. If they're Vet 3, ah, then yeah. you can't. But right now it's just Vet 1 infantry, and as far as I can tell, Max is not really investing in any more veterans. He's got Vet 1 for his infantry, Vet 1 for his support, none for his tanks, which is only this one Ostwin, however. AT gun opening up on the left hand side. He's trying to Alpha Faust that M8 to death. It's still alive, magically, somehow. Vet 2 with 18 infantry kills, which is fairly impressive, but it's mainly Volks. Oh, but he does manage to decrew the 57 here. Yeah. Might not even be a bad idea to get the 57 stolen by Mag. Send a Volk out there to go and reman it. But, 88 um, decrewed. Oh, 88 actually been decrewed by the snipers. Snipers went all the way up here, sniped their way up the field. And wow. now for the Fatherland active as well. Both sniper shots missed, actually, and that's wow. the thing. That's why you can't count on snipers to always kill KCH because obviously if Father Fatherland's active then they then they have a, a, a negative uh, a received accuracy modifier. Yeah, so he won't even reliably hit them with snipers anymore. Uh, no, that's, a, no. that's a big problem. These KCH are just running into the base killing medics basically. But he's not going to be able to get the, the one that's already around the hedge in fear of uh, the two snipers. He might be able to kill that one though as he goes around the corner. Oh, oh flavor time might flavor. Not. Nope. Ooh. He actually fires on the KCH instead. I guess there the other sniper go. did not feel like killing an entire squad because it felt like a good idea to the AI not to do that. Oh Some boy, the Kali actually killed the Oswind over here on yeah. the left hand side. I can't. I can't. Ah, I, I, oh, I, sorry, I didn't even realize. He was He's extremely low health. Out of hands of command now. What, what's he actually building now? Uh, a Panther. He's decided to get a and Panther. <laughs> defensive barrage on the cutoff. He's completely denying, basically all map control from Symbiosis at this time. It's just... Symbiosis is really having a hard time just leaving his base at the moment. He can raid with his M8 on the left hand side, though. Know? You know, it yeah. helps him a little bit with the capping as he's down to one rifle. The medic's only... Oh, he got a new rifle? I see the, the meter has uh, reset. Uh, yes, he he has done indeed. He got himself, yeah, unvetted rifle and... I mean, the problem is, you know, coming into a game at this stage, he's just not likely to get any real kills on them. But um, there's still that's Volks it. to kill. Yeah, it's true. There's still Volks. I still bet one Volk. So in that regard, it's no different to how they were, you know, 20 minutes ago. But um, yeah, I, I think Max, he really needs to get a counter sniper because, I mean, j just to make sure of things, he, he could really do with getting a counter sniper. Mm -hmm. uh, because KCH are not a reliable sniper killer. They're a deterrent, but not a killer. Yeah, they're good at keeping them at bay, but not much else than that. You can't reliably kill them like a counter sniper can. Yeah, I mean, or they'll they'll, they'll force a retreat, and then you time that with a counter snipe, and they, there's you go, they, there's your solution. But right now, Symbiosis is just able to run around the map knowing that there's no real counter. Probably because he knows Mags will not use a counter sniper, because I know from watching Mags replays and stuff like that, he so rarely ever gets counter snipers. He, he just makes a big blob of volts and just runs them down with MP40s or, or, you know, a big blob of KCH or gets like three bikes in a party and goes charging them down. <laughs> Hells Angels bike party to counter yeah, snipers, exactly. why not? He just, he just doesn't, you know, he's... He's, he's not a delicate bear player. Uh, he's, um, he's definitely uh, gone to the school of thought for, for bear play that suggests if it doesn't work, then just hit it harder. 
Uh, if it doesn't work the first time, you just run into the brick wall over and over again. Eventually, you will break the wall, I guess. I guess so. And it seems to be working for him. He's uh, losing a little bit of map control right now, you know, but it's just so few sectors and he's been draining he's He's been draining symbiosis of VPs quite steadily. He's already down to 250 right now, and it's only 27 minutes into the game. After having, a, a, you know, symbiosis early game was really good. He he had a whole left hand side. He just let uh, he just let Magpie sit there over on the right hand side slash center of the map and do his own thing and like just cap around him as uh, he was talking about an expert insight. If you can't you know, smash right into it, just cap around and be an annoyance. So he has to split up his forces. But after a while, losing infantry squads, riflemen squads especially, uh, he's just been losing so much map control. Yeah. Here's the Panther now yeah. versus the M8. He, That's uh, not a that fair trade. M8, yeah, <laughs> he's had enough. It's over. Surely it's gonna die now here. Surely. Ah, there it goes. Yeah, he's had his nine lives. <laughs> yeah, he's 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 lived through countless alpha fausting attempts. Uh, being very close to dying several times. Just one more Faust would have polished him off, but he never managed to get the third Faust in. So he's just been keeping, uh, just kept repairing it over and over again. Well, now, very, very close to the snipers, forced another full retreat. Max could really do, I'll say this again, he can really do with getting a counter sniper. He just needs to move it into a fairly aggressive position and then sit there until he forces another big sniper retreat. And then it's, you know, it's a free kill. He, he might miss, but eventually he's gonna hit. <laughs> There's all these all these infantry sitting in sitting in Mag's base just left. Bars. Bulk, 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 <laughs> KCH, Flamer. Oh, yeah. that one. He's got a lot of forces uh, compared to Symbiosis right now. Symbiosis is just so outgunned in every engagement, really. Uh, and and Mag's has everything that he needs to really counter Symbiosis's few forces that he has. Uh, you know, he got he even got a Panther, I guess, basically trying to maybe chase down the. The Calliope, etc. But you know, well, mainly against the M8, else, probably. Something else that I know just from from playing Mags is that he tends to get Panthers not because he needs them, but because it's just because a, he a can. stylish, a, a stylish <laughs> way to you know win a game with a Panther. It, even more style, even more style points if you don't even need it. Not even a minor. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, no, even minor need for it. Just like you know, here. Wait, 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 who the fuck needs a panther to kill an M8? You know, I mean, you could make the argument he used it. He was going to use it to kill the Cali, but I mean, he's made no attempt to kill the Cali because it's covered by ATGs. I mean, the panther was possibly the worst thing he could have built, but he only built it because he knows that he's already won, or at least he thinks he knows he's already won anyway. And there's always the possibility of a comeback from Symbiosis Society, though it do it does look a little bit grim at the moment. I, I'm not even sure what he needs to do. Uh, do you yeah, have any like advice? What what would you do in this situation <laughs> yourself? You just like leave. Leave. Okay. Yeah, that is well, pretty I mean, bad. If the, the level is... 20 were player Tommy says that he would just leave, <laughs> it's probably pretty much shot already, I guess. Well, I mean, I'm no level 20 US player, and Symbiosis is uh, true. At least. In, in spirit anyway so I mean the, the thing is he does still have sometimes you just get the feeling when you're playing that even though you have no map and like very few units you still have the right units for the job and I think that's the feeling that Symbiosis is getting right here sometimes you know you, you can lose the game within five minutes and it's very obvious you're never gonna make a comeback not 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 in a million years but right here Sim knows that there's no counter snipe. He knows there's no reliable way to kill his snipers, and he knows there's no reliable way for him to ki for his ATGs to go down either. And as long as he has snipers and ATGs, he has the hardest possible counter to the two things that Mags is making a lot of. So, in that regard, he's you know he's got everything he needs. He just needs to keep on doing it and not get squished oh. by people. One sniper is bet three now from Symbiosis finally with 32 kills. That's a lot of Volks dead. Volks, MG crews, medics, yeah. 88 crews, 88 remains unmanned, just sitting there. Well, he doesn't really need it, so I, I guess uh, there's no fault from Max not recruiting it instantly because you know he could probably use his Volks better by just fighting the infantry for Symbiosis and winning that way. Yeah, true, true. And he's got KCH as well to hold them off if they would go for a rush for the 88, which is plausible. You know, if he could get behind the lines and steal the 88, uh, the Panther and the M8 would be in a bit of trouble, especially with uh, 
with ATG backup. They they can't really go anywhere on the map. They'd, they'd have to hide somewhere behind the hitch. And his Panther oh is being over aggressive. Oh boy. oh boy, 200 mil rocket barrage on the base just as the two just as the two rifle retreats. Oh, painful. But everything actually manages to survive. The two rifle down to two men, but uh, they were far away. Uh, he he placed it just a little bit too too much too over close. the yeah. cube itself. If he had just placed it over the triage, it would have been. Uh, might have been game right there to lose a Venti rifle. Uh, although, I mean, I say that. I, I said it was game when he was down to just one rifle about 20 minutes ago. But, um... Well, Sibers is still sticking in there. Uh, he's got a few stickies. If he gets lucky, he might get a destroyed ending on this Panther, but he does not. No. And now another tank rolling out. It's a P4 from Mags. Is, I wonder... Yeah, I, I don't know. Just, just, just get a counter snipe, Mags. Stop being cocky. <laughs> Uh, stop winning in style and just do it the correct way, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I mean... But you know, as the there are two allied snipers, I guess, right you know, there's always the threat of you getting counter sniped first. Well, if he knows, he knows he has the element of surprise and... and well, that's um, true. I mean, Sim is just playing so aggressive with them right now. He's not moving them after each shot. He's just... You know, if, if he could just kill the Vet 3 sniper, then that would be just an insane win. And actually... You know, Vet3 Sniper is a great source for scouting for him because he knows the 88's decrewed. He knows that with a good time push, he might be able to run up there and steal it, which could be, well, it could be devastating, needless to say. Yeah, he really needs to do uh, oh, something fancy. Oh my god. Both snipers almost got squished. I barely caught that. I just saw them retreating, uh, and I guess that was a well timed retreat, otherwise, he would have been squished under the threats of the P4. For yeah. the far land, popped again in this engagement versus the two bar rifles with the three Volks. And for the Fartland is just saving his ass, really. It's so easy oh. to win with for the Fartland here. He's, you know, two bar rifle against Vet One Volks. The the Vet One doesn't really giving him anything in a combat situation, and the Vet Two bar rifles are fairly decent. But with for the Fartland, it's just like an easy, easy way to win basically every engagement. Whoa! Enemy unit down. Panther managed to go down somehow on the left hand side. It's backed oh. up all the way against this tree, so it's like. The, the driver had a fish or something because he couldn't have been able to micro out of that. I think he was chasing the M8 and Symbiosis nicely moved up his AT gun to uh, defend this M8 from going down because it is damaged and I saw it on the left hand side. It was uh, raid capping the, the far left hand side fuel. So that's probably what he was going for because I saw the uh, Panther moving over yeah, there with a damaged yeah. engine and after the, the AT gun came up on him in surprise, it was just so slow with the with a damaged engine that they couldn't get out of there. And the AT gun actually has a bet 2, so I'm fairly certain that killed the Panther. It had bet 2, sorry. The KCH, the marauding KCH, just decrewing AT guns all over the place. <laughs> yeah, and actually, this could be a potential problem here. There's only a single MG uh, at the med bunker in the field. Oh no, there's two, there's two MGs here, actually. Two MGs in the field. Uh, Flame of Pyre did just go down, though. Um, and the Small big bolt blob is all the way back at base. Mag's doing something which, you know, he probably doesn't need to do, which is making these big full retreats. You know, he just runs out, gets gets beaten eventually, and there's a full retreat, whereas he could just soft pedal back to the med bunker, reinforce back there. Oh, another 280 in base. Actually does not kill the M8. I was certain it would die now, but it actually manages to survive with 5% health and a main gun destroyed. Here comes the fast from the KCH, however, it does go in on the M8 and it does take it out of control and killing it. Meanwhile, we had a Cali barrage here in the middle on the two P4s. One of the P4s did go down as a result, leaving just one single low health P4 and uh, and a couple of MGs here in the middle. Volt Blob only just now beginning to reinforce. It needs to be up in the up into the field really, because those two snipers are going to be back in up in his grill in a minute and uh, doing a lot of damage. Oh, I and think the MG in the house goes, went down. Yep, the MG in the house. It was three men a minute ago, but uh, must have <laughs> lost a few guys to the Cali. Maybe. But uh, obviously losing the MG in the building, he loses the gun entirely, which is, uh, which is quite a blow when you're trying to play the, the sort of the VP win game. And actually the A8 goes down too. Yep, it was attack move destroyed by the AT gun from Symbiosis. Oh god, oh god, you know what's about to come out? A Persian. <laughs> Really? It's about to come out. Yeah, he's almost oh. got the CPs for a Pershing, and there's and no AT. Yeah, he's destroyed the 88 gun. Instead of taking it and then risking losing it, and you know, Max taking it back, it was way smarter from Symbios to actually manage to destroy it completely. And Max is probably, you know, none the wiser that the Pershing will be rolling out soonish. 
Oh man, this is this could be devastating. He's gonna see that Pershing, he's gonna be like, why the hell didn't I keep better care of my 88 <laughs> or Panther or whatever? KCA just still alive, still ripping shit up with uh, three kills and 14 kills respectively. But there we go, there's the five CP. He's gonna see that that uh, Pershing rolling out any time now. Oh, so he doesn't have the pop cap for it. He doesn't have oh, the pop no. cap. He's got a thousand manpower, but no pop cap. Oh god, the pop cap is screwing over Symbiosis at the moment. That's not good just at all. Needs, he just needs oh. three pop. He just needs three pop. Max actually rebuilding his 88 now. He did put it uh, at the crossroads, but changed his mind and he's putting it a little bit uh, further back on the other side of the road. But he does have the P4 still. It's not going to be uh, any match against a Pershing, but combined with the 88, that's going to be enough, at least from denying Symbiosis entering the middle with this Pershing. So as long as Magpies can get the center VP back into his hands, he should be able to drain Symbiosis quite confidently down to zero VPs. He should be able to do so, yeah, he's, uh, he's still facing these, uh, well, he does actually manage to get Vet 1 on, on a med station uh, rifle there as well. Ooh, nice. And both of his snipers now Vet 3 with 44 kills and 24 kills. That's a lot of volts dead oh and empty crews. Oh my god. <laughs> Two Vet 3 snipers, you're just not going to kill them without a counter snipe, but yet still Mags neglects to get one. Um, he might finally get the, get the pop uh, for that Pershing, he just needs to actually lose some units and he might be able to get it. Lose a few riflemen maybe? He is valiantly rushing the P4 straight ahead with his two rifles. He's got three rifles now? Did he get another one from the station? Must, he must have gotten another oh. one, yeah. He Long range got too one. sticky on the P4. Gonna make it a bit slower MG for a while. Once again. MG is setting up here on the right hand side. <laughs> Still even less pop cap now for Symbiosis. He's, uh, he's got only got a pop cap of 45 and he's got 41 pop worth of units. So he really needs to capture some. He needs to capture another sector. Oh, there we go. He got his cutoff back. Actually, Mags could win purely through pop cap here if he just maintains <laughs> enough pressure on on the uh, on the cutoff. And look at these two snipers all the way up. <laughs> oh yeah, he heard oh, 88 started shooting on the capping rifles. On yeah, the the 88 was firing on the capping rifles on the cutoff point outside of Symbiosis' face. So Symbiosis just went for decap instantly. But there are so many Volks on the squad still. I think he still has three squads. No, yeah, three squads. So it can be easily... Oh uh, no, Flamer goes down. That's not good. Although it does give him the pop necessary to bring in the Pershing. And here it is. He needs he to rush that 88 very quickly now. Oh, is there another 88? Oh, it's still there, of course. Yeah, yeah it's, it's still there. It's still just there. There's no AT though. That's the only piece of AT he has. He's going to soften things up with the Cali Barrage here. He does go in on the KCH, doing some damage. I think he's now spotted the Pershing, so he knows the urgency with which he needs to reman that 88. I can see that Volk Squad is now moving out with only two men reinforced because he knows he needs to get that 88. Otherwise, he's going to be really up shit creek now. He's got two snipers there ready to instantly decrew it though. This could be really, really bad for Mags. Yeah. And the first order of business for the Pershing is instantly destroying the 88 gun, so it can't be recruited. It's not doing like, a brilliant job at it, but, uh, you know, he's getting there. I think Mags might Correct. sacrifice that. a Volk Squad here. No, I think it he is. Well, does sacrifice a Volk Squad. It's too urgent, but those snipers could just decrew it in one volley. Or the oh, Pershing. Oh, no! The 88 gets instantly decrewed. He's now created a Goliath as some kind of a deterrent. <laughs> rolling right What's up happening? the middle of the Pershing. Takes down 20% health, field repairs to get it straight back up to full health again. Oh my god, this game has turned for the worst for Magpies now. I I'm not even sure what's happening anymore. What happened? He had a whole map. He, he had almost a base pin in effect for the entire game. He had 88s covering everything. And But I guess, uh, as you say, it's uh, the, the neglecting the snipers. Rather than, uh, rather than the effective win. And, uh... Yeah, well, that Panther would be needed right now, but now he doesn't have one. <laughs> or or so, just the 88. I mean, if he had killed the snipers, and the 88 would have been fine. Another Volk Squad goes down there, dropping a bar. I'm sure that that two rifles are going to have a good time picking that up. And now, why is he producing Oswind? <laughs> I don't know. I, I I don't have a clue what's be going on for the entire game. Almost, I'm I'm completely shocked and stunned. I'm just not sure what's happening. It just you know, it just looked like a surefire win yeah, for Magpies does. for the entire game, and uh, now it's just like, what is this? The Comeback of the year or something? I don't know. I mean, kind of 76 VPs as well, Max. He's going to be kicking himself. He, he he would have known that he could have he could have really won this, but now he's now he's just got he's just got no counter. I guess he's he must be saving for a for a 
the Panther, which is his only chance right now. I mean, he could still reverse the tides again. He does still have KCH, and he does still, and he could still get a Panther. Neither of which are particularly counted that well by, um, you know, just snipers and KCH can deke through the ATGs, so... I'm not 100% sure what this Oswin is doing. Is he just creating a distraction from Magpies yes. just to stall? Yes. <laughs> or what is he doing? Is he just I think he's trying to, to, trying to get the person to go away, away so he yeah. can make another 88, which is exactly what he's doing, making another 88 way, way back now, just outside his own base, practically, which is amazing once you consider where he was building it earlier. Um, Med Bunker has actually gone down in its entirety as well, and those two snipers... 53 and 31 kills, respectively. It's insane. Neglecting the two snipers is really the bane of Magpies this game. Uh, uh, he, as you said, just you know, just deal with the snipers. Get a counter sniper. Get a you know a triple hell Hell's Angels party could have worked as well because there was only one rifle at the time where there were two snipers on the field and one rifle is not going to be enough to kill three bikes uh, rapidly enough to protect the snipers. So we could just chase them into the base, kill both snipers. Game. It, Without the snipers, the bike, comeback would have been impossible. Bike would have would have been a deterrent. Yeah. Enough. You could have just you know just the sound of an engine. If you don't have mines or a bar rifle to protect you, it's enough to force a retreat pretty much instantly because a bike will kill you otherwise. But now it's also it's just playing you know ring around the rosies with this with this Pershing. 88 has started firing again. So Symbiosis knows exactly where it is. He knows where to go to keep himself out of the line of fire. And um, oh no, it does actually go down. The Oswin does go down. Um, but what killed actually, it? I think, Calliope? It a, I think that was a Cali Barrage, yeah. Yeah, it was a Cali uh, Barrage on the yeah, ADA. Yeah, Cali's got three tank kills. <laughs> That's an epic Cali. Vet 3 Calliope, Vet 3 Rifle, and two Vet 3 Sniper from Symbiosis right now. I guess if you're just persistent enough and stay in the game, even though it looks like a sure loss, you can make a spectacular comeback. Because the, look, the, the tables have KFC. turned. <laughs> <laughs> KFC holders. KFC holders. They run around with chicken in their hands. I'm not sure if that's very effective, but uh, I guess it works sometimes. But uh, Max is right here. But he's, I mean, you, you can just, um, on a map like this, when you're playing from tournament positions, a flak in the middle, then a couple of better Boom boomers, because yeah. better boomers really are uh, better for, for killing sort of unvetted rifles um, than. Um, and, oh, uh, so Max just... had almost a 50 streak uh, while Symbiosis is stealing the 88 outside of his base. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Is, uh... Painful. Painful to watch that comeback. I'm not even sure what happened there. <laughs> I'm stunned. Yeah. I'm shocked. Not a good time to be for the fatherland bear player like Mags today. I mean, you know, snipers are always going to be your bane if you're going to play defensive, so it really does help to, you know, make sure you have some kind of a contingency plan. Uh, at least, you know, when Malum plays his defensive style, as we've seen a couple of times on TFN, um, you know, he plays it with a sniper, you know, he plays yeah. it with Bolt Bolt Sniper MG, MG. So, um, you're not quite so vulnerable to, to that kind of uh, sniper heavy play. Yeah, the, the snipe, uh, you know, a sniper in the mix here would have denied Symbiosis this comeback, really. You know, if he had lost his snipers, or at least one of them, uh, he wouldn't have been able to turn the tide uh, in the time required before he was drained of BPs. And as we saw in the chat, Symbiosis was planning on dropping around 50, because then it would have been impossible to come back. But, uh, you know, apparently it worked at 76. It sure did. 76. I mean, how many kills are those snipers? Have a metric them. ton, 57 and 39. Oh my God, Jesus. it's almost a hundred. <laughs> yeah, that is insane. Oh in God. Membrane, and you know Max just has no unit types. He's, he's got these KCH. He thought he was about to get point blank. Might be. We have a. We actually do have a Panther now. Just come out and a Goliath. Panther, Goliath, and two KCH are uh, the last forces left in the Bear Army. Um, I'll be interested to see what he can do with those. I, I think. Uh, Nothing is the correct answer. But. <laughs> Nothing might be the correct answer here, as his base is surrounded by allied troops. A lot of flamers, which are excellent against those KCH, and uh, Pershing, which is Vet 1 still, but he has a lot of kills. How, how, how did it not hit Vet 2 already? I'm surprised. But the two Vet 3 snipers are making themselves known as well against these KCH. Oh, where's the Goliath going? He's going for something random. Oh, there's a big blob. The big there's blob, maybe. Big blob oh! Rifles. Oh, he's trying to focus fire it down. Won't be Big enough with the speed bonus. 
Oh, oh that was painful. Oh, wow. nasty stuff, he nasty stuff. I mean, the game is still very ten. much over, but nice to have an explosion at the end. Oh yeah, <laughs> always nice to have an explosion. Oh god, bed three rifle. God, Pershing damn. is actually a little bit in trouble here. He's down to 15% health, just like the Panther. Gets a nice frontal I penetration he, on it. Yeah, Symbiosis has got 1200 manpower, he can just call in another one. <laughs> if he oh, does that's true. It. Well, he would lose the veteran seat. So it's whoever gets this next shot in. Bounce. And it looks, oh, Panther could actually win this. Go, go, go! Magpies wants the kill on. Oh, oh man, gun destroyed. Uh, Denied. Got it first. <laughs> Denied. Vet 2 for the Pershing for the Panther kill. The Vet 3 snipers outside of Magpie's base are just hooving around, waiting for something to shoot at. Very well played late game from Symbiosis. I'm still not sure what exactly happened. Or how it happened, and there's the playback over. Snipers happened. <laughs> Snipers happened. I guess. I guess that's true. The three rifles. The the only uh, living original rifle squad finally hit Vet three, as we saw in uh, the expert insight we saw with Symbiosis. You know, the Vet three eventually comes. You know, it does not come as early as uh, you know Amer aggressive American play, but eventually it will come. It does come, yeah, indeed, and we saw those snipers more than made up for it. I mean, they could have remained at Vet Zero, those rifles, probably, and as long as they were just there to sort of screen for KCH until they got Vet 3 themselves and could basically screen for themselves, then, um, well, I mean, he, 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 just, he just didn't really need it, did he? No, not really. <laughs> it's, a good, it's a good thing to have Vet 3 rifles. They are uh, very durable and very strong, especially with bars and grenades and stickies like that. But, uh, you know, I guess the Vet 3 snipers really just put the nail in the coffin for Magpies this game. Uh, I'm, I'm still shocked. I'm not sure what went wrong. He had a whole map. He had triple cap on Symbiosis down to 76 VPs. And then all of a sudden, everything just died in a massive explosion of death and destruction. Well, it was more gradual than that, wasn't yeah, it? it was, yeah, I guess. Uh, you know, he just, he just got put away, and I think he just thought, oh, I'll, I'll deal with them. I'll deal with them later. <laughs> later, later. <laughs> tomorrow, tomorrow, and uh, well, well KCH tomorrow is, never came. Yeah, exactly. KCH is, as you said, it's a, it's a fairly good deterrent, and you can run them down with, you know, grouped uh, MP40 volts or with the KCH themselves. But when they hit that three. They just run away from you anyway, so <laughs> it doesn't work exactly. anymore. <laughs> you can't, you can't catch them up. No, that's the problem. That's yeah. the problem. So another reminder: Saturday, tenth uh, of November, eight p.m. GMT on Twitch.tv forward slash The Frontline Network. The Reddit tournament, tournament number two, one v one tournament, is gonna be shoutcasted, live casted there with myself, Fatal Saint, and Call Me Sarge as my co-host. Uh, okay. And maybe some other mystery guests, and you'll actually have Tommy there as well. But this time he will be playing, won't you? I will indeed be playing. I'll be playing uh, Mr. Go Pepsi live uh, at some point uh, on Saturday um, because he is the he is my opposite finalist. Um, we we both um, both beaten beaten a few few players to get to the final of this tournament, and uh, it's going to be interesting to uh, to see who wins. Yep, going to be very very interesting. So be sure to tune in on Saturday the tenth, eight p.m. GMT. Uh, on twitch.tv the forward slash the frontline network i think i've plugged that enough now so uh, <laughs> thanks everyone for watching as usual and uh, don't forget to subscribe and comment and like and favorite and all that shit you can do on youtube it really helps us and yeah we'll see you guys next episode yep see you guys next time